so I'm 26 years old. And most of my friends are married. When I say most of them, I mean all of them. And they always ask me, how's the dating life? Well, I'm glad you asked. First, you're on Bumble. Maybe Tinder. Match if you're really serious. You find a decent guy. He's tall. Enough. You talk for a couple days, see where it goes. Get a little flirty, it's fun and stuff. And then he asks you for drinks. Guys, drinks are not a date. But you go out anyways. You have a good time. Or so you think. And then the next day comes. And you don't hear from them. Yep, they ghost you. Why do they ghost you? Why do you guys ghost people? So that whole night, you thought everything was going great, everything was going fine, and you thought you were bonding, and then boom, the next day hits. And you never hear from him again. And that, my friend, is dating in a waste of five days. Before we get into the meat of this video, guys, and I break down and diagnose this woman like I do every other woman, I want to give a special shout out to a longtime subscriber, Mr. Bridges. He's been rocking with me since day one, since I had 100 or so subscribers. He was one of the first ones to click that like button. I wanna show some appreciation to him. He's traveling overseas. He's got his passport. He's going to Brazil in November. So I wanna wish him a safe travel. Make sure he gets there and back in one piece. And guys, I wanna let you guys know something. There's more to life than your state, than the place you live, than the city and town you live. This world is vast. There's a lot of stuff to do. There's a lot of different cultures. There's a lot of different women. Never get one night as a tunnel vision for the women who live in your hood, in your area, in your town, okay? Because Mr. Bridges, he's going to Brazil. He wants to experience other cultures. He's gotten his life together. He's really moved up from where he was years ago to where he is now, kind of like my YouTube uh, channel has. And it's a good thing. So guys, go to different countries. Experience some femininity, experience different food, experience different cultures and different atmospheres, and you'll see how happy you are. Put your happiness first and stop trying to put it in other people's hands, right? Now, this 26-year-old woman, okay, she's damaged goods. Now, you might ask, how do you know she's damaged goods, Darius? How can you tell? The first thing I noticed was her nail polish, black. Now, the color black means death inside which means she's not normal, which means she has a lot of trauma, a lot of issues. That's why women paint their nails black or certain colors. You can tell a lot about a woman by her hair color and by her nails, okay? Remember that. Now, she is damaged because she's on dating apps. And we all know dating apps, Bumble, Hinge, Plenty of Fish, whatever she named, they're for women who aren't really wanted. Those are for women who have been pumped and dumped, who've been ran through, and nobody wants to be with in real life. No man can really tolerate and date those women. So now their last resort is to go to dating apps, where us men, we just go to smash and hook up real quick. Okay, let's be honest. Men really don't go to dating apps for relationships. Now, something might come about, but your number one goal is to, hey, I'm gonna match as many women as I can. I'm trying to smash and, and the quickest way possible and that's it. So that female, I guarantee you, she's been smashed, she's been pumped and dumped by a lot of different guys. Now, she did specifically say, all my friends are married. So why are you not married? Now, birds of a feather usually flock together. So if one woman is single, all of them are single, but that's really odd. If all of your friends are married, how many you got? Three, four, five, six, seven different female friends. If they're married and you're not, you're damaged. That means you can't get along with men. Something is wrong with you. You have, you're probably combative. You, you, you don't bring much to the table. It's not about you putting out as far as sex on the first day, second date. It's the fact that you don't have uh, really any girlfriend material skills. You don't have wife material skills. So when a guy gets with you and he invites you off for drinks, like she said, what he's got to do is got to analyze situations. Now, here how, here's how us men do it. We see an attractive woman. Okay, cool. I want to smash, but let me see what else is to her. So we might take you off for a drink. We might meet you for coffee. We might go for a walk in a, a park. We might invite you over. And then we make our move. We smash. Then we say, hmm, okay. So now after sex, What's it to this one? I mean, why should I really commit my life to her? See, that's where you ladies are going wrong. You don't know how to advertise that, hey, I'm a good quality woman. You don't, how to, you don't know how to let guys know that you're a long-term material. So what you do is you go on all these dates, you go off for drinks, you do all these different things, and the guy hooks up with you, which is all cool, sex is normal, it's a great thing. 
And then he's like, okay, is that it? Because here's the thing. Guys know right away if you're long-term material or if you just straight hook up material. And every guy will hook up with you, period, point blank. But if you're a girlfriend material, that guy want to see you over and over again. Now, she specifically said, we went out for drinks and he ghosted me. She's not being 100% honest. She's not being truthful. She's not being forthcoming. See, no guy just takes you out for drinks and then just ghosts you. So one of three things happened. Number one, she went out for drinks and then she ghosted the guy. So she's trying to make him look bad. Number two, they went out for drinks and then he smashed and he just got rid of her and didn't want to talk to her no more because maybe she was irritated. Maybe she's one of the, you know, the right, the right fit. Or number three, they went out for drinks and she just got his drinks and everything and, and she was, wasn't really tolerable. And after that, he was like, you know, I, 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 just forget it, right? So these women are not really honest. No, what woman goes out for drinks or a free meal with a guy and the guy just goes him after that? Guys don't spend their hard earned money. It could be a $10 drink. It could be a $50 meal. It could be a $100 concert. Guys just don't do that, just go shoot. So the reason why he ghosted you is because, number one, you're not quality, you're not long-term. Or number two, you're just, you know, uh, intolerable. Or you most likely ghost to him. <laughs> so the reason why you ladies are single and you guys are hitting her all at rapid speed is because you're dating around too much. Ladies, it's not normal for you to go on a date with a guy Monday, going to die with a guy Tuesday, Thursday, Wednesday. You, you Listen, you can't pair bond with the guy. The more guys you are with sexually, the more energies you exchange, the worse you're gonna get and the more damaged you're gonna be. She's only 26 years of age. She should have been settled down by now. Now she has to be 27, 28, 29, and she's gonna hit that 30 year old mark and she's gonna be in the worst space that she is now. I'm telling you. These women, you have to understand, you only have a certain shelf life. So if you want to lock down a guy, you need to do it early. Don't do it when you're uh, 28, 29, 30, 35. It's not going to work for you. She's only 27. She's starting to feel the effects. She's looking around like, man, uh, my friends are paired up. They're, they're in long-term relationships. They're married. What about me? And here's the funny thing about women. When you're out with them and they see you with another woman, and they're like, oh, this guy's in a relationship and they start to get jealous. Why do you think women want you that much more when you're with another woman at the mall, at the store, whatever? They're like, they just gravitate towards you. That's because women value relationships and they just assume that, oh, he has a girlfriend. He has a woman with him. So he must be a quality guy. Women get jealous of other women who are in relationships because that's what they need. Relationships mean security, it means sanity, it means guidance for these women. And when they don't have that, they're wandering aimlessly through the world like a zombie and they're just on dating apps, getting pumped and dumped, getting ran through and all that. See, there's no real tutorial or blueprint for most women. So what they're doing is they're, they just think they gotta bring their WAP, they gotta bring what's between their legs and they throw on makeup and then, oh, that's all I gotta do to get a boyfriend, to get a husband. No, if you want a man's commitment, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to work because after you get sex, it doesn't guarantee you that he's going to call you back or not, but you have to let guys know, Hey, this is what I'm bringing to the table. You're going to have to put in that effort. You're going to have to put in that work because ladies, you need us. We don't need you. You need our security. You need our resources. You need everything under the sun that we bring to the table. So if you don't have that, what's going to happen is you're going to be depressed. Women get fulfillment out of relationships and marriage. So if she's not in one, she's gonna be confused. She's gonna be like, man, what's my worth? Why, why am I not, why don't I have a guy? This is why these strong and independent women are always miserable still, is because they are unable to pair bond with a guy, number one. And number two, they can't get that relationship. They can't get that guy that they really want to, to commit. Now also she did say, well, a guy that was tall. She never said anything about having good qualities, right? And this is how women are online dating are. I've got tons of matches. All I just said, I was six foot three in my dating profile when I used to be online dating and women just match, match. I got tons of likes and messages. Smashing easy, hook up, have sex. It was easy. I said to a lot of women, so, you know, so why'd you match with me? Why'd you, you know, swipe right? Oh, you were tall. You had a nice smile. I said, okay. Now they know, didn't really know much about me. 
It's like, do you know I'm a quality guy? How do you know I'm not a, you know, a, a psycho or something like that, right? I'm not that, but they match with you because you're tall. Strictly superficial. And this is why these women are single, because they don't go for quality. They just look at the superficial, how a guy looks, his physique, and his height is, is, is a huge one, especially on dating apps. And then they swipe right and say, okay, well, that's a, that's a guy I want to be with. Uh, then when a guy pumps and dumps you, because that tall guy, let's be honest, he has a lot of options. Why? He's like, okay, after that, that's it. So, ladies, you're going to have to give these guys a reason to want to be with you and commit to you. If not, only thing you're going to get is get your back blown out. You're going to get smashed and a guy's going to dash. He's going to, because he's going to realize, you know, this woman, she's a cute girl. The sex was is pretty decent, but um, there's nothing else to her. So you're going to have to get some motivation and start letting guys know this is what I bring to the table. Hey, this thing, you can't try to keep sex from the guy because the guy's going to just dip off and go deal with other guys, other women anyway. So, so keep withholding sex is only hurting yourself. It's not hurting him. See, you need men more, far more than we actually need you. Matter of fact, we don't need you. So ladies, if you want a husband, if you want a boyfriend, it's going to take you a lot of convincing, especially getting that ring. And you just uh, looking attractive or putting on makeup or giving a guy sex does not get you a ring. You're going to have to put in that effort. You just can't show up and say, well, take me on a date. It doesn't work that way. So she's 26 years old and damaged. Guarantee you she's been ran through. She's on dating apps and it doesn't look well for her. Thank you.